the alt cover. And Damn, the punch comes steal. through. He's going into the B site. He's found a kill at Heaven. Yeah, that's and now huge. the that's is happening. It's going to create a lot of chaos here. You can see the B Heaven defense is starting to be very, very troubling here. So Broza needs to win these fights, and he will. He'll get the double, holds onto the B Heaven control, which allows his team to find position for the retake. And even getting the paint bombs again. That's beautiful. That's going to delay this plant from happening and now they need to find a way to try to do that but Sabros is trying to deny absolutely everything this is ruthless from TSM but the lockdown definitely has me favoring them oh, I like Broza's this gonna go aggressive on it oh he's going aggressive absolutely they are not they're gonna try to win the round off of this oh! drone he gets two there tries to drop the lockdown he can't do it but he does a lot of damage and actually allows for TSM to have the numbers advantage here. Four versus two. Spike is being planted backside now on the A side. Hiko with the Lurk around the A ramp position, but Lurk upon Lurk. Sabrosa comes in. And now again, Nitro, last man standing, but against two. And Cutler will make their way through as the Spike is planted for 100 Thieves. And Drone, you can see, clears out that B Heaven position. But TSM, they've got so many players. Dicey's on the Operator too. It feels like it will be very, very hard to find anything here. And if 100 Thieves play this perfectly, they will give no opportunity, no overpeaking to allow those fragging opportunities for, a hun uh, for TSM. So, looking really good for their first round here, 100 Thieves. Drone will try to make his way through. Nitro on the back as well. Nipping at their heels. Able to get the kill onto Dicey. Steel goes down all of a sudden. Nitro able to trade onto Cutler. But it's a one versus one after all is said and done. The tap comes through for Drone. Applying the pressure. Trying to force Nitro out. He gets him. And is there time for this? I'm not sure that there is. Drone's going to stick it. He's going to find out one way or the other. And there we go. The playzilla Thrifty comes through from 100 Thieves. But B main pressure comes through. A, a very aggressive dark cover there from TSM. We'll have to see if there's anything else to go behind this. Nitro oh is going to TP my. into Nitro. the defender spawn. Oh my god, he actually finds a kill off of it. Sabrosa, that's that's such a heinous maneuver that you could never have expected it. And he'll get caught off guard by that completely. Hey, he's in a high up position there, right outside of the choke point, into the site. I don't know if he's been spotted or not, but Asana's is going to take him down. It was just a matter of time. And my god, how does this happen, Sean? How do, how do you make a TP into spawn work in a professional Damn. match? This round is all but over. 100 Thieves has tactically outplayed TSM in the ninth round so in such a big way. I mean, I've constantly said that Sabrosa is dominating this B main. They play so aggressive. They're always up on B main. What does that mean? Well, that means is about to come in. Nitro is going to sell it even more with this paranoia to B heaven. It is now a four on two at this A site for this hit. Drone is able to get out of there though, and it does seem like generally retake positions have been set up by TSM. Wardell able to get the pick from Elbow, that's a really good start, and here comes the double back towards the B site. They know they can't get into the A site, they can't force the issue at this point, they have to just commit to the B site now. They've got 40 seconds to go, they'll actually try to split off Nitro towards B main. They know that B main was lost actually, so if Nitro can win B main back, there might actually be an opportunity here. Sabrosa though, great off angle, it's going to be very difficult for Nitro, and now it's just this B main hold. That's This is everything here for 100 Thieves, but... They might be thinking to go back to A indeed, but Wardell's on the A side. This is going to be so hard, so difficult to try to traverse their way all the way onto that spike plant. Time is of the essence. Wardell, they're firing off with that operator backside, doing the damage. And it's just dicey now against five players. TSM have well and truly outplayed 100 Thieves in this round. And I don't know that they understand this. They might be able to get into spawn. They've got lots of time. That ropes play that they saw is so ambiguous for Asana. It could have been a setup for B or A. Cutler seems to be asking some questions here, and he gets traded. Again, it's Nitro. You talked about it, Sean, but he doesn't get a chance to even play the 1v2. Very well done by TSM. It's super giving up the site completely. So this isn't they have really no an ult stand. This is going to be a very I difficult planted. retake for them, especially if TSM keeps distance with these rifles. They have Phantoms. They have a Vandal or two. I don't know how 100 Thieves cuts the distance to get close enough to take these guns out of their hands. Yeah, it's a very good question. We do have the TP there by Nitro to get forward ground. Now they'll also make their way forward with Eco there as well. So they are trying to find ways to cut that distance using the smokes to cut off line of sight. But as you say, very well done by TSM to just continue to make sure they have that superiority with their weapons. 
Placing swarm and grenade. And Steel's gonna have to back away swarm here. Grenade out. It was, this was that kind of bonus round here for 100 Thieves, given the fact that you know they had mostly Stingers, the Ares. Steel running around here, he's, he's gonna die. <laughs> and uh, didn't want to save. And you can see how 100 Thieves, they're a team that do like to mix up their setups a lot. Round to round, and Steel's you know, holding down the A site, they can play retake around there. They're mostly rotating towards B here, but as Sean mentioned, not really too much in the way of utility here for uh, 100 Thieves to work with or weaponry. A great shot though from Nitro. Trying to make things a little bit awkward, but ultimately TSM will claim this B site. And you know, a lot of, a lot of rounds like this for the ecoing side is about just, just trying to guess, you know, what is the anti-eco strat for TSM in this particular round. Spike planted. And they were really hoping that it would have been something towards a, a fast, one of the fast A contacts. And I, I know you, Dan. I know you were, you're probably in love with that minor detail right there of Hayes saying, hey, don't, don't plant the spike yet. Don't plant the spike yet. Let me get this orb. They're getting every edge they can on this map right now. And that's very important given their comp. All of their ults are One super LA impactful. Landing. Right? So the fact that they're building these ults up with the alt orbs before they plant the spike, huge for TSM. Opponents as they come through to the B sites, and that's the Broza. He actually catches a reposition of Dicey. That's unfortunate timing for Dicey. Nitro unable to capitalize as he wanted, and Dicey five HP. Able to find the headshot still though. The updraft to try to find a good position for a next kill, but three versus four, four hundred Ds with this eco rounds. Two showstoppers and in play this round. One of those could. You know, have impact on how this round plays out. Hiko getting things very close here. Three on two. And Hayes has Hayes doesn't want any of that. He's gonna leave and go to the A site. But Steel is in between the TSM players and Hayes. He could definitely throw a wrench in things right now. If he catches drone on the rotate back to A, and you can see he's waiting. He knows someone from TSM is still by B. Which path is drone gonna take to this A site? Oh, he dear, he's does going die. right into Steel's oh. loving arms. If he gives up a gun here as well. <laughs> Steel, oh, he just gets it. And that's a Phantom. He could try to go for the lockdown play now as well. That's also a possibility from Steel. Is he going to drop the lockdown here to try to clear out the site? Or is he just going to go for the frags? Okay, there comes the showstopper out from Hiko, getting himself onto the site, into the dark cover, straight into Hayes' face with the rocket. Now Color has to come out from his hidey hole, straight from the A ramp into the clutches of Hiko. And Hiko's going to annihilate him. What a round, the plays are thrift. Boom and Patrol ready to defend. We'll see, but they're gonna give it up here. They have to, they gotta respect the showstopper pulled out by Sabrosa as he makes his way all the way through to spawn. Oh, hello. Well, there's the trade at the very least. The lockdown planted by Steel. He's got to defend that. They might try to take it down or will they be forced outside? Oh, wow, there we go. Steel's able to basically get a free kill onto Drone as he makes the play to stop the lockdown. Now Steel knows that they have to be forced out the side. He knows they have to be in B main. He's gonna try to stick it halfway at the very least. He's gonna go all the way, forced back. Steel takes down Wardell. It's now down to Cutler in the one versus one. Steel back on the spike and he's got it. Steel, oh, beautiful hold there from Dicey to finish it off, but Steel with the set. they're gonna be able to stop this. Have to see, you've got to be so careful. Drone is so reliably gets kills from this, but finally it will go down. And Wardell will also go down, actually. Asuna takes him out, but TSM pushed the issue straight through the B choke point, but Hiko sprays him down, and that is very damaging. Drone is the only man left standing for TSM. He's got 100 health, he's lost all of his shields. He's going to have to make some crazy moves. He finds a nice timing on Tahiko. Didn't know where Drone was, but they certainly know where he is now. And Dicey is one of the players. Drone's going to have to somehow deal with the timing. Dicey finds the perfect peak. And that's good though, he does get rid of the ult there at the backside. Very calm after the whiff of that first shot. He's going to be able to reset himself. Great shot from Dicey. He said he has it all to do. He's starting to recover nicely. Asana's in there as well, dismissing. And they can't get the sight. They're getting sprayed down. 100 Thieves are looking so damn good right now as they clean up the entire site. The spike is not planted. It's the this is going to be a one on five in the A site for Steel. He has everything to do here. 
Steel is the man that can. We'll see what he can do from elbow. He takes down the first player, resetting for the second. Steel picks up two frags. You couldn't have asked for any more from him. That will equalize it into a three versus three here on the retake. 30 seconds Asana left. ready to push in. The dark cover is going to force Wardell to have to come through here. He hasn't got vision. He needs to be able to help his teammates. Color there with the flash for Wardell to get out the dark cover. We'll have to see, though, if they can make this work around elbow. Oh! Color with two. TSM need this round desperately. It's up to Nitro. He's trying to get out of there. He's going to get smashed by that rolling thunder. Oh what? God. He still gets the dink onto Hayes. Hayes has to fall back. And they have to slow play this one now. Nitro makes his way forward. The paranoia there goes down. Turns away from the first Nitro. Looking to find the last player. Where yeah, has he cover. gone? Hayes rotates up top. He's going to go down with the TP. Nitro going for the kick. kick. He's going all the way for oh the God. stick. Oh! Hayes, Hayes saves it. Belly. At this B site, they're trusting Steel at A. Steel saying, Stack B, I'm good. I have all this utility here. And Hazed bringing the spike to B. TSM is going right into the teeth of this setup right now. They may be expecting that Dicey would have rotated as well, but he's still on that B site. Because typically uh, an operator, when spotted, often rotates out of that initial position. So that might be one of the things they're counting on. The Breach Flashers could break up this setup. It's hard to left. say what Cutler's gonna gonna prioritize here, but he go with the paint shells right on B main and Dicey taking out Sabrosa Nitro following it up. Dan, this is coming down quickly for TSM. This Cutler left there, and he's gonna get shot straight in the face. Incredible stuff there very quickly. And you've only had to worry about like a couple of choke points on your way to that, which is if you're thinking about a way to have a consistency with your anti-eco. Having as few spots to get surprised by a shorty as possible is definitely going to go well for you most of the time. And oh, Drone will find some damage. Dicey will fall. Not the best range for Asana's Stinger. <laughs> Not sure with the transfers. Decent damage being done. Three players left standing for 100 Thieves. Just Cutler now might be able to eke out some additional pain. But Hiko will finish him off with a shock dart. Button control so quickly, it's gonna mean that they'll be stuck in this like no man's land as they could possibly lose the site. We'll see how they handle this. Here comes the actual push onto Huka. Drone able to defend there, getting tagged They're by that beat. recon dart. They know exactly where they are. Oh, the reload comes through. Hiko can punish. Drone still alive though. 11 bullets left in his gun. Can he find a way to shoot his way out of this one? Wardell is gonna ease things up here for Drone. Wardell with two, and that is suddenly a huge <gasps> change in this situation. Nitro though. Looking to equalize once again as things calm down on the side. He's got to grab yeah, the, spike. the spike. He's managed to do that. He's got 50 seconds to try to play this situation out. Slowing things down, seeing if he's going to see any information here. Is someone going to give him a peek as he holds this angle? Expecting the drone might jump up onto the box there, but caught by Sabrosa by Garden. And that will be the round for TSM. Yeah, and there was a sky flash towards B long. They know it's going to be a heavy commit towards this A side of the map here. They're going to force the issue 100 Thieves straight through, but Wardell is going to have an answer. The operator in hand is going to drop two players. 100 Thieves looking to reset now. They've lost so much. Nitro with the TP, but said there is a fast TP available for Wardell B long, which I imagine will happen. So that's something that we'll have to be worried about by TSM. And hey, he's able to dodge that. And they're not going to use the TP. They're going to go straight through here. Well, 100 Thieves into a pretty strong defense. Well played so far by TSM. Sabrosa pulls out the rocket to make the difference. The dodge there and straight through the TP. I'm not sure if that was intentional or not. I, I imagine it might be because Nitro does have the spike. He's going to make the play for this B site. Well, Dell's ready though with that operator. But where did the TP go? Where's Nitro? There he is. Well, Dell finds the frag and the spike is his. As is M wants to get more aggressive. They, they've shown that they're not afraid to do this with both Drone and Cutler. Been enjoying how they're setting this up with the use hill. <laughs> that, I don't even know what happened there. The, the dark cover going down. There goes the rocket though, straight into Hooker. Takes down Drone. Is there a response though? Hayes goes through the TP, but he's stuck now. This gets awkward. How do they deal with this scenario? Hayes doesn't have any utility. He's going to open the door, see if he can get something from this. Nitro takes him down though. Definitely a scary situation to be in, and that might just be the round here. Two versus five here for TSM. And Wardell has an operator. That's a lot of money in his hands that he would do very well to keep hold of. The reactions from 100 Thieves on these hookah takes is just oh. honestly something to witness. But they're going to go in. They want to kill the guns, Wardell. I think they want to get rid of the guns. I think this. they read the save. 
Uh, Sabrosa could really break this up here. He could take out the raise. There it is. It's now a 4-2. and two. Wardell makes a 3-on-3. Three three. Uh oh It's happening, Sean. Wardell is making it happen with the daggers. The operator comes back out! He's done it there! There's one more in the shower, though. Hiko, last man standing. He is the clutch master. We know he can do it as he takes down Wardell. It's a one versus one. He's got the Hunter's Fury. He's got the Shock Darts. He can fall back. Sabrosa, dangerous as ever, looking to make this one work as well. Forcing Hiko back with the paint bombs. There goes the Shock Darts. He's got the lines lineups as the defuse comes in. Hiko gets the Red Bull Clutch. Beautiful play there from 100 Thieves. Short 100 Thieves. Usually that's the reason why Steel works too, because it gives them the understanding of what's happening at A and allows, oh my god, Wardell does it again! <laughs> Another fantastic shot from Wardell. It is Steel to answer back. Who else? Two versus three now for our 100 Thieves as they try to get the spike planted. Sabros is close though. He's going to find one. There's the second and the round for TSM as they. For Kevin, oh, the Sky Ult coming out. Paranoia is going to have to be wasted on this. Oh, Asuna! He gets the triple off the rocket! It's the fourth kill! He's working oh on the ace! Asuna, absolutely monstrous performance there on short A, looking for the last player. He wants every single kill. And I don't even know if TSM knew what just happened there. In a blink of an eye, they're just gone. All of them, just gone. Oh, it's devastating. What a time to bust out the best showstopper we've seen in months. The triple frag this early into the round. Grand finals and the ace for Asuna. There's that. Yeah, that's the old oh, the Hunter's Fury sent all the way down towards that short A position to try to delay or just destroy this push. Drone, he's so far forward to the running back. He gets the info. Two players pipes, two players spawn. And there are 100 of these players on every single angle, it feels like. TSM, they've barely got any space to breathe as they try to hold these positions. Color able to only get one. It's up to Sabrosa here. He's got the showstopper. I don't know if he has time to bring that out. Goes for the frag out of the dark cover. Gets a double. Drone picks up one as well. Looking great right now for TSM to convert. But it's Hiko. It's Hiko again. Now the 1v1. He's got time to make this one work. Trying to use that info from the dart. He knows there has to be one nearby. No! Oh, How did he go pull it off again? Out of dodge there for Nitro. So he's still going to stay alive in New Hall. And the rotation comes through. They know that they pulled a lot of players out of the B site. But Dicey does have the angle into Hooker. They will need to make sure that they smoke that vision away from Dicey. So he can't hit them as they come through to that site. But they can rotate back as well. This is a crazy rotation game right now and you can see Nitro goes for info straight into Sabrosa's trap now he's got U-Haul control now he's taking down Sabrosa they ki he killed the cam earlier I believe so yeah. now that's a huge advantage here unless Asuna this can pull awesome. out something crazy from this position the satchel Asuna is not looking good for him Sabrosa takes him down at 100 these they may have been outplayed here holy Sabrosa with the lurk left. of the tournament him and Steel Steel coming through it's a nice shot. Can't believe he got that one. Four on two. Yeah. Four of what they've been doing so well, which is really manipulating the rotations. But that's usually off of pressure towards U-Haul that they get those. It looks like they yeah. may want to just go for it right now. This is very sketchy because they have no long V presence and they will go for this hookah hit. There's going to be a, a showstopper coming out right now. This has to find some damage. It's not going to find any damage. Hiko and Dicey kick things off nicely. Five versus three for 100 Thieves. There's huge pressure now on the remainder of TSM. Hayes takes down one. Can't get around the corner in time. The Stinger does the job from Asuna's perspective. And there you go. 100 Thieves are going to clinch it. And backside as well. They've got themselves... Well, they've got themselves a raise as well. So that's going to be difficult. Sabros is in the back. Ooh, Drone's going to go down. And it's up to Sabrosa now to buy more time for his team to rotate in. They're going to make their way through. It's looking pretty decent initially for TSM here, but 100 Thieves are going to be able to claim this site, and it's going to be difficult to prevent the spike from going down. But they're going to try. They're not even waiting for the spike to get planted. They're going straight in. Oh. Hazed. Able to take down Dicey. Looking for one more. And that's the spike down. So now Hayes can play the spike. He can... It's, it's not up to him, it's up to his opponent Nitro to pick up the spike and to get it planted. And Nitro doesn't even know if he TP'd backside or spawn, he's so confused. He couldn't hear the landing sound of the TP. So there's so many question marks. And Nitro is just going to play the clock right now, eliminate half of these possibilities. And when, when all is said and done, he's going to realize exactly where Hayes is. Ooh. Tag down to 10. Oh. 30 seconds left. TPing out. Just Whoa, Nitro time. saw him. Nitro saw him. 
Is he ready? Is he ready? No, the pre-aim's not there. Nitro! He's outbrained Haze this time around. Omen on Omen. Though Dicey does have the Blade Storm handy right now, and he's, he's, he's waiting for all of these players to come along the rafters. Oh, the jump daggers. Not able to find what he's looking for. Gets a lick of damage, though, onto Wardell on that operator. Utility starting to come in from the heaven position here. TSM looking for the moment to trigger this attack. That might be the moment. Great stuff. Wardell finds Asana. That makes it a little bit easier. But these, this stinger for Nitro could be a problem here on the site. He's got Hiko there with the supporting. Oh, that's a great shot from Dicey with the daggers. He's been waiting so patiently. He's still got more in the tank. There it goes. All of them. He whiffs it, but it doesn't matter too much. He'll take down Drone with the Spectre anyway. And Wardell's already on the run. And 100 Thieves. Drone's over. Has to run it back with the boom bot there, and that might do some damage. Tr drone is going to be blinded by the paranoia. Now Sabrosa's time to shine as he finds Steel, and they're taking the action straight to B main, straight to 100 Thieves, but Dicey's coming up huge here with some of these defensive kills, but he can't get them all. Hayes finishes off everybody. It's Nitro with the TP play at the, the backside B, and he might be able to make this work. He's reset this into a one versus two. It was looking hopeless, but... Omen things coming to bear, but Wardell's on the angle. Nitro didn't seem to expect that one. And TSM will pick up the round. That was it. Uh, Carl is burning his Hunter's Fury here. It looks like they are biting on this one right now, but there's still Wardell two players on the site. And it's Wardell. He was waiting for it. Takes down Nitro, and this is where things get a little bit difficult here for 100 Thieves. The fake hasn't worked. They've got to shoot their way out of this one, and so far it's not working out. Hiko is the last man standing, but not for too much. As he waits on the angle. Well, Nitro peak was just a dry peak here. Presumably there's a utility to follow to open this one up, make it safer. That said, I'm completely wrong. The dry peaks for days as TSM capitalize. A 1-3 for three trade, that's not what you're looking for. Nitro TPing into the dark cover there, trying to gain some ground here, trying to find a way to plant that spike. And I think he's managed to dodge that drone as he makes his way onto a fake spike plant. See if he can pull someone out here. And Hiko, he has a Hunter's Fury. So if, if there is a way to get this into a 2v3, Hiko might be able to play the post plant here. If and Nitro, able to Nitro has his ult as well, Dan. So he could easily take this to B if he really wanted to. But you can see he's going to plant this. Hiko has his Hunter's Fury. Oh, that, that is wow. brutal. Forced into the Shock Dart with the spam. And now Hiko's getting spammed as well, so no Hunter's Fury here. This looks like it's done, and indeed, great round from TSM. 100 Thieves as well. So you see Wardell on the angle. Oh my god, I don't understand how Asuna gets that one. Now TSM are in some real trouble. Drone though, great game sense, the timing there to realize that there could be a rotation through to the B split. It was really looking like it was going to be A. The pressure was huge, but there's the run it back as well from Drone. He's so damn good. He extracts another kill. Somehow TSM turning this round on its head. It looks so bad, but it's now looking so damn good as Drone finishes them all off. It's got a delay. It's got that thing at range. It's quite difficult to make it sing from there, but he'll do what he can. It's going to be so dangerous to challenge his position, and it's going to work out. Hiko, in the meantime, finds the with the shock dart. Oh my god, Hiko getting two! Looking pretty good after that second kill to get into this retake. Everybody on the side here for TSM, they've got to find some creativity here to get these frags. Color takes down Asuna, huge kill. Hiko now, nipping at their heels with that Bulldog. They're stuck outside of the side still. Hiko trying to work his way in with the Bulldog. That Cloud Burst making it difficult to get close. It, nothing's working out here for 100 Thieves. TSN, their backs against the wall. They've had no HP the end for the side of 100 Thieves for this retake. Spike planted. And interestingly, Sabros is walking around in spawn, so he's, he's expecting that there might be a top mid push for the flank. There's two players for TSM of the four looking for a possible flank, which means that there's just one on the site. And this setup doesn't look super strong to hold this retake, Sean. I'm a bit worried here for no. TSM. They'll go in well. for the attack, and Wardell does get the double, though. So that starts to feel a little bit more comfortable for TSM. And it looks like they should be good to go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Steel comes in from the... What? Sabrosa able to turn around in time. The 90-degree flick onto Steel's head. Hiko is going to be short, made short work of by Sabrosa's fast. Oh. That's some good oh, damage from Sabrosa. This is the ideal scenario, going into the site with all the killjoy utility. Drone in there with the running back, though. Takes down at Nitro, makes it look clean. Now the rotation comes through. Steel, they didn't see where Steel was. Steel goes down, though. 
Wardell, always good for the close range, no scopes. Nico though, in quickly, he wants to capitalize on the chaos, takes down Wardell, arrows sent forward to try to do more damage here. Two versus three here for 100 Thieves on the retake. Shokdar into that B main position as Dicey covers it. They know somebody's there. Nico goes down now. Dicey's able to take down one. It's still doable here for 100 Thieves. Dicey. He's got an updraft. He's got the daggers. The blades come out. There he goes. Straight forwards. He can't find the angle he's looking for. Hayes takes... Oh, Dicey. Dicey. Like oh in the my night. god. Pass. Enemy kill. That's a really big problem for TSM. You should run. That's a really big problem. There's that kill, Joyal. Does... What are we going to see here in response? Hayes is just sitting in it. They're going to be able to destroy it with the Hunter's Fury. Oh. That's a good call. Spike planted. A good counter. Yes, a paranoia for Heaven. They could play very aggressive towards Heaven with this paranoia. Blinded. Respecting the Ares there, not trying to sit in the hell position. Hayes will Locked make his way back in there. It's looking pretty good. Nice cloud burst. Wardell's really good at those ones. Making it very difficult for the... Does Wardell think he's got a shot? Oh my god, Wardell! He does it again! Close range with that operator. And TSM, they're losing players. They're bleeding. Two versus two right now. A steel and Nitro come back in for the retake. Making it look very scary. What is this from a steal with the Ares? It's Cutler now. It's up to him to save the day for TSM. He's got to make it work here so they can get this to a fourth map here. And it's coming in the hole. And it's Cutler with the headshot onto Steel. It was a great effort. Nitro's looking for a timing here. There goes the paranoid. There goes the curveball. Nitro dodges one, but looks straight into the other one. Drone makes his way forward with the Ghost. He is knocking down heads. It is looking very scary right now as Drone pushes further and further into the site. Oh, the shock does huge from Hiko. There goes the hot hands. Dicey can't press forwards. So him not going down could make the difference in a successful retake versus a non-successful or successful retake as we look for, uh, for TSM to coordinate themselves around this site. And again, they had early information as to what was up given the fact that they had that forward push on a lobby just earlier in the round, and here they go now. Paranoia comes through, blinds Asana, Drone takes him down. Nitro has to have a good performance here, back sight. He gets traded out, three versus two in favor of TSM. 100 Thieves stuck all the way down C long to try to defend this. Wardell is tapping the defuse there, trying to pressure them for the peaks. The peaks are coming, and Dicey's the one to get the frags. It's up to Sabrosa now, and there's not too much left to be done in this position. There's no time for the defuse. It was a good effort, but 100 Thieves hold on to it. Wow. Utility here to hold on to these positions, and it doesn't look like 100 Thieves will be held at bay for too much longer. Still goes forwards, trying to get the cam out there, trying to get some info. Color able to stop one. Wardell with the knives, able to dodge around. Oh, the classic, the classic! Oh. Does it against Steel. And now it's just Hiko. Again, how many times are we, we going to see just Hiko in the clutch? I he does for this. That could make the difference. He has got full shock darts available. He's got the recon dart available as well. Full health, a vandal. It's looking quite good for Hiko in this setup. It's going to be very hard here for Sabrosa and Hazed. Eco, great timing the on the first dart there into... Oh, he's actually going to catch that. He actually landed that straight in the dark cover, but there's the... Through that wall. And the spike goes down for 100 Thieves. They're looking pretty good here. How do you get back in if you're a TSM? These two players back B side are going to be singled out. They're both paranoid. Oh, what hell with a double off the blade storm. He's looking for more. They've managed to regain control of the site. Excellent work there so far from TSM. Oh, Wardell with number three. He wants number four, but Cutler's going to get it. That's insane there from TSM. First few bullets there. Yeah, this is looking a bit sketchy here for TSM. You've got to be careful, but Sabrosa is able to take down Steel. Steel not having the best time so far on Haven. And this pressure from TSM is really good right now. It's really preventing 100 Thieves from taking any positions uh, like towards hell. And as Sean mentioned, that's a very strong place to stand if you're trying to defend this site. Dicey goes through with the Spectre. But unfortunately for 100 Thieves, there's too much firepower here from TSM. Shokdar's coming through. But it's now just down to Hiko again alone. Stuck behind what well, in this short position. He's going to make his way forward, but surely he's going to run into the Duelist. Nitro gets the info, gets taken down though. There's a trade on the A site. Dicey trying to keep his, his presence left. alive here. Oh god, he's going to get straight He's ulted away! And he's ulted like away from C. It's a C hit, Dan. Oh my goodness, he ulted away at the worst time, and Hiko knows. Hiko knows that Hayes ulted to long. Oh my um, goodness, this is such a weird scenario. Perfect timing for 100 Thieves. But it's st they're still down a man here. Ooh, this guy. Oh. <laughs>
Yikes. Feels bad, man, for Hazed. I was going to say it was, would be the 4v3 at least, but three versus three. And, and as you say, the amount of time now to just rotate is insane. Nitro looking to play above the dark cover there by Logs. They know that he's in here. Oh, he's getting tagged, and Cutler gets it. That might actually allow them to do something here. Sabrosa. Sabrosa coming in on the flank here. There's two players. If he can find these kills. Oh, Steel defends. There's the trade, though. One more player to go. Can Hiko get this? Can he stop the defuse? Wardell's going to go for the stick. He's going halfway. He's come off a bit. He's back on it again. He's going to try to dodge, but Hiko with the hunt. On the aggression. I'm sorry. That's Asana. Yeah, it's looking really good there. Takes down Sabrosa. Did not expect that. Spots another. Oh, my God. Hayes has no idea. Of that angle, that's so devastating. It, not like this. Jerome will try to figure out what's going on here, but he's a little bit too late. Asna has come and gone and done the damage. They're going to make their way through Garage. It is free for now, and this has to be contact because they can't afford to give any information away. And Nitro might have a bad this time here. It's a very here. rough spot for Nitro. But he still takes out Drone with the stinger no less from that range that's pretty brutal asana gets himself in there takes down another one cutler in an impossible scenario against too many players surely as he makes his way through the window again looking for some damage get some economic pain onto oh great shot from hayes doing a lot with little tsm right now trying to make it work but those shock darts from hiko are just they're going to be seen in the nightmares of TSM players for days to come. So Pro is able to take down one more. Great defense on the flank as well. As that eliminates Steel, it leaves only Hiko. He's going to dodge that. Doesn't want to shoot it. Wants to make sure he can't. He doesn't give his position away. Not making any sound cues. Wraps his way around. Taps the spike. He oh, knows he exactly where that's coming from. Color is helpless. He's helpless right now. Oh, he gets the gun out just in time to take down Hiko and TSM. They really create problems. There's the recon dart. That will give some information for Steel. He's going to spot one, and they walk straight into Steel. Now it's on to Wardell. He knows the Steel's on too long. Great shot from Wardell. He has the Cloud Burst available as well. He's got one bullet in the operator before he needs a reload, and he, that's all he needs for the Red Bull clutch. Wardell brings it home for TSM. Another round on the board, but... Challenge this. Dicey missing the shot. He Shock Dart coming in from Cutler, making it a 5-on-4. And TSM are going to take that and fall back. They're going to take that 5-on-4. Okay, but what's, what's the... Again, this is like the IGL's dream. You get the 5v4, but you get it right at the beginning of the round. So you've got lots of time to try to manipulate the rotations and get yourself on the site for free. And look Drone's at this. Steel, look at Steel's presence, Dan. The nerd cam in B, playing back B. He has a trip in garage. He has a trip top C. Oh, he's so aware. Great stuff from Drone there. Oh he my going goodness. Steel, though. Through the smoke. Oh, they're annihilating TSM. There's only two players left. There's a two versus four for TSM. They have to find a way out of this situation, but it's getting worse and worse. And who better than Hiko to look to seal the deal here in this grand finals as Carlos tries. He does all that he can, but it's simply not enough.